सर 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 वी आर गेटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ कमेंट्स ऑन अ यूट्यूब कि एन के एग्जाम में क्वेश्चन पेपर होता कैसे है वॉट टू डू अबाउट इट वॉट टू डू अबाउट इट चलो आई शो यू हेलो एवरी वन आई एम अभिषेक शर्मा डायरेक्टर ऑफ अकेडमिक्स एट न्यूटन स्कूल ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन दिस वीडियो वील ब्रेक डाउन एवरी थिंग यू नीड टू नो अबाउट दी एन सैट ट्वेंटी the new exam structure the syllabus marking scheme and most importantly a previous year question to give you a real feeling of the exam in the new exam structure the nsat consists of three sections a total of 80 questions to be completed in 3 hours it may seem intense but that's where the real challenge begins let's break down each section in detail the first section will be mathematics section consisting of 30 questions in total this section would evaluate both fundamental and advanced mathematical skills it will be divided into two parts the first part would be basic math of about 15 questions it will test your class 10th concepts like percentages profit and loss simple equations geometry etc the second part would consist of advanced math with 15 questions it focuses on class 11th and 12th topics such as calculus trigonometry and algebra the second section would be general aptitude logic and data interpretation it will consist of 30 questions this section will evaluate your problem solving abilities it will mainly focus on part 1 logical reasoning and data interpretation which will have 20 questions it will test your skills in analyzing graphs tables and charts while assessing critical thinking and logical reasoning the second part will be algorithmic thinking 10 questions here we'll be testing your ability to solve problems step by step the third section will be english language proficiency 20 questions you know strong communication skills are essential for future engineers part 1 language reasoning 10 questions it assesses your command over grammar vocabulary and sentence structure part 2 reading comprehension 10 questions again here you'll be required to analyze passages and answer questions based on your inference and tone time for a quick recap to sum up 80 questions 3 hours 3 core sections math logic and english marking is pretty straightforward every correct answer boosts your score so accuracy is the key watch this video till the end for pro tips on acing the exam now let's jump into an actual previous year question this question is on application of integrals a very crucial topic in advanced mathematics let's solve this step by step and understand how to approach similar questions in nsat you can pause the video anytime to attempt this question yourself before we solve it together let's break this question down step by step this question involves measuring areas under the curve and maxima minima concept let's first take a note of all the conditions that are given to us in this question number 1 k must always be greater than equal to 0 number 2 the curves we have been given are y is equal to x square upon k and y is equal to x cube upon k and number 3 we are expected to measure the area bounded between these curves now to measure the area bounded by the curves we need to first calculate the points of intersection of both these curves let's draw these two curves for all x greater than equal to 0 and analyze is this curve in two parts for x greater than equal to 1 we know that area between these two curves is unbounded which means the question is not asking us to refer to this the question is actually asking us to focus between the area between x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 where we know that the area between these two curves is actually bounded for this range between x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 to calculate the area bounded between these two curves between x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 we need to understand that x square is going to be greater than x cube for all x between 0 and 1 now let us solve this equation x square upon k minus x cube upon k integrated from 0 to 1 now solving this equation tells us that the area is going to be equal to 1 upon 12k now we know that 1 by 12k does not exist at k is equal to 0 and we also know that 1 by 12k would be maximum when k would be minimum this tells us that option d which means k being between 0 and 1 is the correct answer another way to solve this question could be that we solve this part of the problem by using the concept of maxima minima now we know that the derivative of the area function equals minus 1 upon 12 of k square we know that this derivative would not exist for k is equal to 0 and this derivative will stay negative for all values of x greater than 0 indicating that the function is strictly decreasing which means that k needs to be minimum but we know that k cannot be 0 which also means that k needs to tend towards 0 which means that option d k being between 0 to 1 is the correct answer now cracking nsat is all about time management strategic preparation and practice Make sure that you go through all the previous year question papers that you're working on your core concepts and you're consistent. All the best for inside 2025. Go ASAP.